Okay, so today we're going to talk about a weird kind of carry situation that I've come up with, and uh, we'll see what you think of it. We'll see what I think of it. Last time we talked about this, my Go Bag Level 1. This is the VanQuest Dendrite Small Waste Pack. I like this bag a lot, but one of the problems is, if you remember the video last week, you saw how much stuff was in here. Without the camera in there, this bag's not really full which is a good thing because it's not heavy. But it also means that there's a lot of wasted space and I'm carrying this bag when I don't really need a bag this size. And one of the reasons I carry bags like this is because I hate having a ton of stuff in my pocket. I think most people hate having a ton of stuff in their pocket. Do you hate having a ton of stuff in your pocket? So I've been trying to find something between the size of my pocket and this bag that can suit most circumstances. So the solution I think I came up with, or at least that I'm going to try, is this. This is the VanQuest PPM Slim 2.0. Yeah, I had to memorize that. Personal pocket maximizer, I believe. This is the Wolf Gray. I've had this for a while. I was using it as part of my modular system. And one of the reasons that this isn't normally something I would consider for my everyday carry is because it's just a pouch. I'm not gonna walk around like this. I mean, I could, I'm not going to. I've seen people stuff these into their pockets. Yeah, no, I mean, no. So I started playing with this today and putting stuff in it just to kind of get an idea of the size of something that I wanted. Is this too much? Is this too little? Does this hold the stuff that I want? So then I had a crazy idea. Could I put straps on this? and how ridiculous would it look? Some of the bags I was looking at online, some of these smaller pouch size bags that say they are for men, they have these thin straps and really they look like purses. I was worried that if I put straps on this, it was going to look like one as well. Maybe it does. <laughs> I don't think it does, but maybe you're going to think it does. I tried to fight that a little bit by getting a good size strap not only that, it's more comfortable. This strap, I took off the modern Dayfarer bag, which was the bag that I was gonna do my next video on, but I guess we're doing this video. It's got these neat little hooks. I think the Wanderer bags use these same kind of hooks or same style hooks. I just hooked them, two of them into the Molly on the back of the pack. The other thing that I really like about this strap is it's got this connector which is a fidlock, which is magnetic. Uh, I'll I'm gonna put it on. I want you to see how this sits, and then I'll sh we'll talk a little bit more about this lock. So this is what it looks like on, and it kind of sits like a holster. I could pull it up more if I wanted, but it just kind of disappears. And one of the great things about it just kind of disappearing is I can walk around with it and not have it obstructing me. I'm not feeling the weight of it. So this is something that I know I can grab and take with me and not have to worry about it. As much as I love this bag, sometimes it would get in the way. Sometimes the weight would start to bother me. When you're feeling the weight or the bulk of a bag, you have the tendency to want to take it off when you sit down, which means you have the possibility of leaving it and losing it. And when we're talking about EDC, the stuff that you think that you need or want with you at all times, that's pretty much the stuff you never want to lose. So something that sits like this, nice and comfortable, I'm sitting down right now. I don't feel it. I can feel this a little bit, but here's a funny thing. You would think the buckle, let me turn the right way. You would think the fact that the buckle is what's up against that side of my neck instead of the the strap would be uncomfortable. In fact, it's more comfortable because the strap being thin tends to dig into the skin. This doesn't. This just feels like something like fingers pushing against my neck a little bit. But because this is small and light, it's also not pulling down. The other thing that's convenient about this, sometimes I'm wearing my straw cowboy hat, which means if I'm wearing a bag like this and I need to take it off, I gotta take off my hat and then I gotta do this. Well, what's nice about the Fidlock is Boom, it's off. So that's kind of what it looks like. And this is, I think I just mentioned that this is made by, made by Fidlock. 
there's a flap right here and when you pull on this boom that's what separates them that's what removes the magnet or pushes the magnets away from each other and then when you want to put it back on boom I'm advertising this strap for another bag <laughs> so what do I have in here you can see I have this right here this is a Midori Traveler's pencil this is not the pencil wood pencil part that comes with it this is a black wing palomino pencil that i've cut and put in here so i like having that on the outside so that's quick access so that if i need to write something down i can get to that right away because typically i have a stack of index cards in my pocket opens all the way up i'm sure if you're watching this there's a good chance you've seen reviews of these maxpedition and vanquest pouches this is more about how I'm using it. You can see right here I've got a Burt's Bees lip balm. I have the lighter that you saw in the Go pouch. I've got my Swiss Champ. Fits really nicely right there. I've got my Aurora flashlight from Robivon. I've got some keys on here. Down in the back pouch here I've got this night eyes pry bar slash carabiner thing and it's holding the car key and buried way down there for when the times maybe when i screw up with my knife on sharpening the pencil i have a little bullet pencil sharpener and then on this side i have the boulder wallet with almost nothing in it i still have my big eye design utility knife tpt slide on the inside i've still got all of my band-aids and toothpicks and lactate and uh, emergency cash in the back and then I've got my ID and my credit cards and another thing that I want to say about why I put so much thought into this a lot of the EDC small EDC carryouts that I see like this center around the idea of a man wearing pants and a belt and when I say wearing pants I mean jeans or pants with belt loops I live in Texas it's hot I don't always want to wear jeans when I leave the house. Sometimes I wear sweatpants. Sometimes I wear joggers. Sometimes I wear shorts. A lot of times I wear shorts. And stuffing something like this in the pocket, meh, theoretically works in jeans. It looks awful. You could rig something up to clip this onto your belt. You could buy something this size that clips onto your belt, but it doesn't solve the problem of all the times you're wearing pants that don't have belt loops. That's why straps, that's why shoulder carries, what I call this kind of a holster carry, that's why these things are so interesting to me. Because it means I don't have to change my whole clothes just so I can take the stuff that I want to take with me along with me. Because, that, I mean, it really defeats the purpose of having something prepackaged. Having something prepackaged like this means you can grab it and go. But if you have to change your clothes so that you can grab this and go, that's not grab and go. So I don't know, we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna try this out for the next couple weeks and we'll see how I like it. If not, I know I can always go back to the old carry. So let me know what you think. Does this look ridiculous? Because I asked, somebody's gonna say yes.